The Leader of the Opposition. My question is to the Prime Minister. How can anyone have confidence in a government which is hopelessly divided, which punishes pensioners, which punishes families, and is only interested in talking about itself and giving a $50 billion tax cut to large business? The Prime Minister has the call. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, it was only a week ago that the opposition leader said he was not going to be talking about politics, he'd be talking about people. He'd be listening to Australian families and their concerns. And this new non-political leader of the opposition was about to burst like a refreshing ray of sunshine into the House of Representatives. But, Mr Speaker, that was a very short-lived hope. We have the same old political bill, the same old electricity bill, the same denial of reality, of economic reality, the same approach where Labor threatens jobs and households. The Prime Minister will resume his seat. The, the Deputy Prime Minister will cease interjecting. The Leader of the Opposition. Uh, I seek point. leave to move the following motion. But the House one notes, A, the Prime Minister has today introduced cuts to family payments, which will mean millions of Australians will be worse off, including over a million families of school-aged children. B, that the Prime Minister is hurting Australian families with his cuts to family payments and paid parental leave to give a $50 billion handout to big businesses, including the big banks. C. The Prime Minister is punishing some of the most vulnerable people in Australia, including pensioners and carers, with his robo-debt mess, and two, therefore condemns the Prime Minister for being so out of touch that his hopelessly divided government punishes families, pensioners, carers and new mums while giving a $50 billion handout to big business and B for being so distracted by the chaos in his government that he's only focused on looking after himself and not Australian families. Is leave granted? Leave's not oh. granted. The Leader of the Opposition. I move that so much of standing and sessional orders be suspended that would prevent the Leader of the Opposition from moving the following motion forthwith. That the House one notes a the Prime Minister has today introduced cuts to family payments which will mean that millions of Australians will be worse off, including over a million families with school-aged children, b that the Prime Minister is hurting Australian families with his cuts to family payments and paid parental leave to give a $50 billion handout to big business, including the big banks, c the Prime Minister is punishing some of the most vulnerable people in Australia, including pensioners and carers, with his robo-debt mess and two, therefore condemns the Prime Minister for being so out of touch that his hopelessly divided government punishes families, pensioners, carers and new mums while giving a $50 billion handout to big business and big banks and be for being so distracted by the chaos within his government that he's only focused on looking after himself and not Australian families. Mr Harborside Mansion is attacking the standard of living of over a million Australian families. The story of these cuts today is that the Prime Minister is taking $2.7 billion from Australian families and yet he proposes giving $7.4 billion to big banks in tax giveaways. This Prime Minister is seriously the most out-of-touch personality to ever hold this great office of Prime Minister. Tough on pensioners, soft on banks. Tax cuts for millionaires and payments, payment cuts for Australian families. This is another version of the Liberal National version of robbing Peter to the pay Deputy Paul. The Deputy Prime Minister will cease interjecting. The Leader we of the House the will Minister. cease interjecting. The, the Leader we of the Opposition the Prime has the Minister, call. Not once, but several times today, would he spell out exactly how many Australian families will see a reduction in their family payments? How many Australian families? And this slippery fellow, currently in the position of Prime Minister, spoke about the childcare changes. He deliberately understands and chose to ignore 
and mistreat Question Time and not tell the Australian people the truth. He knows our question is that, on one hand, in order to pay for some childcare changes, he is reducing the payments to over one million Australian families. And we hear this Minister for Social Services interjecting, if you were doing your day job properly, Sunshine, we wouldn't be seeing these cuts to family payments. The key to the dishonesty of this government, and including all of the members of it, the key to the dishonesty of today's legislation is they want to stand there and pat themselves on the back. They want a bunch of flowers, probably give themselves the afternoon off, because they say, look at us, we're proposing some legislative change in childcare. But the truth is in the numbers. They are reducing what they pay to Australian families by $2.7 billion over the next four years. It's in black and white in their explanatory memorandum. So here we have the Prime Minister saying, look over here at what we're doing at childcare. But what they seem to forget is that after kids go to childcare, they go to school. And when they go to school, there are costs and family payments. And then we had the Minister for Social Services get up and say, because Labor has previously supported sums means testing, therefore they have got a blank cheque to rob a million Australian families. No, you don't. No, you don't. And I thought, where have I heard? Where have I heard Members this proposal no from the government before? Where have I heard it before? The 2014 budget. The 2014 budget. You robbed the poor old member for Warringah. But now you're actually in a new camouflage, in a new suit, selling the same the for rotten changes the for, for the Deacon. Australian people. At least the member for Warringah said it for what it was. This fellow here will say and do anything to keep his job. A $50 billion, a $50 billion tax giveaway for multinationals and large companies. You can tell a government, not just by the personality, but by the priorities of their policies, and the Australian people are on to you. $50 billion principally going a tax ram raid, a tax ram raid on the budget to large companies. That is their great economic plan. They don't talk about the old Trans-Pacific Partnership anymore. That, died. that lasted less time than your proposal to increase the GST. Their economic plan is a $50 billion corporate tax cut and your other plan is to make that be paid for by going after Australian families. Will we draw a line in the sand on this $2.7 billion cut to family payments? We're not buying it and the Australian people aren't buying it. This is a government who didn't have a great summer. They lost their health minister. They did the robocalls. They did the robocalls on you know, the Centrelink, Centrelink recipients. We heard about Mr Haynitz up in the Cedar Rankin. We heard about the question from our Shadow Minister for Social Security. These are real people. This Prime Minister says, oh, the opposition's not asking questions about important issues. We are focusing on the people. We're focusing on the pensioners. We're focusing on standing up for those on Centrelink. In Labor, we don't think that every Centrelink recipient is automatically default a cheat. We don't treat our fellow Australians, someone deserving to have a clumsy system mailed out. But then today we see the legislation on family payments. And this government has proposed in their legislation today not just cuts to the families of school-aged children, but to pensioners. And of course, over the summer, some bright spark in the government thought up they should spy on our veterans to see if they really have PTSD by monitoring their social media. So I thought they had a bad summer, and of course, we won't even go near the donations to Bark with the biggest donation in history. But you know what? That is looking like a summer of joy in the last 48 hours. Not only have, not only have we given up on the government, their South Australian senators given up on the government. But we will keep fighting. We will keep fighting to defend family payments. We will keep fighting to expose the charade of this government's position. At the heart of this government's position, it is the following proposition. They say on one hand, look at us, aren't we good? We're doing some things in childcare. But on the other hand, all of this question time, they haven't answered the question, how many Australian families are having a reduction in their payments? How many? I tell you what, my respect for you might go up an inch or two, Mr Prime Minister, if you'd come to the dispatch box and just spell out how many Australian families 
are losing or seeing reductions in their family payments, families of school-aged children. You've ducked and you've weaved that question all question time, and no matter how often you duck and weave it, no matter how often you hide from it, we will get that number out of you and we will speak up for Australian families. This is a very divided government. Their only plan for the Australian economy is to kill the confidence of Australian families. They treat the people on the pension as somehow second class. They treat people on Centrelink as somehow second class. I actually thought in the first three question times of this week the beleaguered Minister for Human Services would have enough self-respect when asked a question about Centrelink to get up and say, I'm sorry we got it wrong. Just a bit of humility would go a very long way, member but that Deacon, is not the trademark of the this member government. For Deacon is we will fight for family payments. This Prime Minister is not just out of touch with today's legislation. It shows he's out of ideas and he's rapidly running out of time, and his own party know it. And the difference is, every time this Prime Minister sees an issue, he turns it into politics about Labor. We say to the Prime Minister today, if you want to make a step forward in terms of Australian politics, if you want to make a step forward in terms of your own approval of what Australians think of your government, focus on what matters. The Labor Party is focused on what matters to Australians. We will stand up for Australian jobs. We will do something about reforming the visa system. We will stand up for Australian apprenticeships. We will make sure that we have proper needs-based funding in our schools. We'll also, if you want to find some money in the budget, rather than reaching down into the pockets of over a million Australian families Leader of, of school-aged children, what we think you should do is reform negative gearing, yeah. reform the capital gains tax deduction system, yeah. don't pass on $50 billion in corporate tax cuts. Yeah. If you want to find some money, look, go after some of the top end of town, but rather than going after everyone else. The Prime Minister doesn't have a plan for Medicare. His only plan for Medicare is to change the salesman. That doesn't fill people with a lot of confidence. But he also doesn't have a plan for housing affordability, does he? This fellow is so out of touch that his only advice to Australians is get rich parents. Well, that's not a housing affordability policy. So we stand for Australian families. We don't support the cuts. We'll back Medicare. We'll make sure that housing affordability is a reality in this country. Yeah. Is the motion seconded? The member for Jagger Jagger. I second the motion. Reserve my right to speak. The Prime Minister.